<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sammy and Burns, the new team on uh, Young Country, 96.5 FM. <laughs> Tro and West, The Mountain, 103.7. Kent and Allen, Star 101.5. Dana in the Morning, Kiss 106 FM. Bob Rivers, Spike O'Neill, Twisted Radio. KISW 99.9 FM. Woo! Where do you start? Where the uh, Twisted Radio? Start there. Here's what I remember about Twisted Radio. Listen or the puppy gets it. Yeah. Do you remember that? A big billboard with the gun to the puppy's head. Big uproar. Twisted. No puppies were harmed. <laughs> In fact, the puppy who did the shot uh, got shot. And everything was fine. The, making more money than any of us now. The puppy, the puppy is a big star. <laughs> the uh, you know Mad Magazine. Who remembers Mad Magazine once had a cover that was the same thing, uh, only it was more violent. It was a gun to a puppy's head, and it said, "Buy this magazine, or the puppy gets it." Well, it's a so joke. you stole the idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All ideas are stolen. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I, I prefer to think of it as recycled. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh, the, the thing is, is that uh, most people don't even know, if they don't listen to the station, that what the whole thing was, was a campaign to find homes for puppies that were in shelters and about to be killed. Aww. So, uh, okay, a collective one now. Uh, okay. So, when sure. you think about it, the message was accurate. Listen, or the puppy gets it. How outrageous does, is Seattle, where does Seattle stand on the outrageous scale? Ten being like, you know, stern. One Ooh. being if you count the blue hairs Murray working the espresso stands, we're way up there. Way up. <laughs> <laughs> and I would imagine the country audience is different than the contemporary is different from the you know. I think we share a lot with the uh, with well. See now I can't talk. That's how outrageous we are. So, <laughs> so, uh, so that's why I let I, we encourage our listeners to listen to everybody else. <laughs> you know it's working. It works. It does it work. work. Yeah. So. I'm well, you know, look at share. Sammy here. Sammy's been here what? One week? A week? Um, two weeks? Four, four days. days. Four days from Five Kansas City. <laughs> you know, she's brand new to Seattle. She wow. thinks it's sunny all the time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love this weather. I'm so happy to be here in the sunny. Yeah. Uh, talk to West me in a Coast. couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so do you guys like drive to you? First of all, you're all on at the same time, so you never get we to never listen to one another. Uh -huh. Not true. true. What? I was late the other day and I heard Crow and West <laughs> talking again. Yeah, <laughs> right. How were we, Bob? We're excellent. Awesome. Were we? It was yeah. excellent. Thank you. I wish I had the interview. <laughs> Everybody crying with one another really in time. I remember when Bob came to town. Hmm. Yeah. We called him up and we said, Man, you're good. What are you doing here in town? <laughs> you didn't I'm, believe it. I'm from the East Coast. I think it's some kind of a trick. <laughs> I don't know what the, what is this friendly stuff. <laughs> very very confusing when I first got out here. Is Seattle cutting edge? I mean, do you guys push the envelope? Who who's who's really outrageous? Mm. <laughs> Jokesters. Bob. Bob. Comical. Bob. 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 My. We, I think that, I think though that if <laughs> and some of you may have moved here from other areas. I think if you were went around the country, you would probably um, agree that Seattle radio is kinder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We may be the most rude in Seattle, but in general, people in Seattle are kinder than anywhere else in the country. We're 27% right. less disgusting here. It's <laughs> <laughs> another way to look 27 at it. 27% less disgusting than... Than the other station. <laughs> <laughs> Dana? Yes. Are you less disgusting? Oh, yeah. Than those guys behind you? I, I'm always clean. We didn't need that much information. <laughs> you know, keeping up with this with this group of guests here is going to be an awesome task here this evening. Who what what are some of the, who conjures up the outrageous things that you guys do or come up with or the the gimmicks the the fun the. Bob. <laughs> we just came to watch Bob. <laughs> he well, hit it. We steal. Everybody yeah, steals, I think. We, we just steal and put our own. Who steals from who? Bob steals from us, and then we listen back to see how it sounds. Then we'll listen to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and if it works for everybody, then we use it. <laughs> 
So who monitors Bob? <laughs> if you guys are on <laughs> the tape. No, no, I, but, but you guys are like on the air. So who, mo what do you, when you go to break, you tune in? No, Ken, it's a new invention. It's called tape. <laughs> <laughs> it works how? You tape the show and then you listen back and then oh. you steal their ideas. Very clever. <laughs> I, and being radio, we all have at one time been fired, so you have at least a good week or two to... to, 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 to listen to that, so. Hey, I can point to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh. Been there, done that, have the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had a great career in radio, Ken. What'd you think of it? Oh, it was, it's as schizophrenic as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really is. It's a very, it's a very unsettling industry. Do, how do you guys assess that? Uh, I mean, it, it's very... Most of us have been in place for a while, though, right? right? Yeah. Relatively secure here, but, you know, you're only as good as that day's show. Mm -hmm. uh, many times, if I have a bad day, I may have had just a great three weeks, right. but I'll go home and I'll go, how am I keeping my job? And I'll just feel that way. Mike and, and I go home and just eat medication. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's medication. <Yeah. laughs> Which we got from Spike. Thank you know, I, I, I sense there is a theme emerging here. <laughs> let me, let me, let's do a real round robin here. How do you format at the beginning of each day? Uh, well, you work usually a day ahead. Okay. We have a show producer, and uh, we get together at 10 o'clock, and we talk about the next day. Hopefully, we'll have a, a few celebrities to talk to, uh, some wacky parodies to play. and we just, uh, We're always working a day ahead because we get up so darn early. Actually, you know? almost a week ahead. You well, that's what we tell our <laughs> management. So we can. Is the same with you guys? Um, no. Sammy, has, <laughs> Sammy hasn't figured it out no, yet. We, we I don't think that, that we really do much prep. We just, which you, you know, you might have noticed. And we just, uh, <laughs> I think we just go in and fly by the seat of our pants and let it happen around us. As you notice, Sammy isn't wearing pants, so. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick off at about 4.30. Uh, we, have a, we have a producer as well, and, and he, he does a lot of the, the before work, uh, rounding up interviews and things like that. And then there's... Uh, some services that give you information they kind of like clipping services show prep we call it preparation for <laughs> right. now is that something that Kent and Allen is familiar with well we don't have a producer uh, he, we refer to him as our nearly trained assistant Leonard <laughs> stand up Leonard stand up Leonard so he's the acknowledged brains behind the uh, <laughs> he can book a guest he can shampoo he can get anybody on the air and then a lot of it's listener driven shampoo? you know what Dana. Leonard will do <laughs> twice as clean no, he will call yeah. Jack Nicholson and say he's from ABC Network <laughs> and it's an ABC feed coming no. out of Seattle <laughs> well you do you're giving away all my tricks now and so he hey, will Ron, remember this it's called a microphone <laughs> okay you'd think the guys from radio would know yeah, yeah. you're giving away all my tricks yeah. Yeah, so he will he will lie to get guests on the show. Jack Nicholson is gonna try that. That's a good oh, trust me. Okay. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> so basically you have him lie for you. Yeah, because we don't want to. We're kind to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys. We do both. We prep some things really hard. The twisted tunes that we do are recorded in a twenty-four track studio in my basement. Uh, and sometimes we spend a day or two just on one bit, one song. We also write and produce scripted bits um, that we do with Spike's character voices every day. And he and I work on those the evening before. What we do is we scan the internet news sources for crazy stories and just shoot ideas back and forth and get started on those voice, Spike. Um, <laughs> well, we, that's one. <laughs> my Linwood guy. Um, actually, when Tony, uh, Tony Randall gave birth, and actually, Tony Randall yeah. did give birth. <laughs> That would have been a Tony new Randall has a beautiful young wife. You all know about that. And yeah. at the age of seventy-three, nine or yeah. something, her he, he she's has 20, <laughs> she's twenty-five. Oh. He has a youngster, and so we thought, what would it be like if you could actually talk to Tony Randall's? This is television, so I'll say his swimmers. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so through the magic of uh, science, we hooked up a feed to Tony Randall's testicles. sack. I'll say it. I'll say, let's go say it. The testicles. And uh, we had an interview with Tony Randall's sperm. Who sounded like this? <laughs> <laughs> and the funny like thing is they just called Dana. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tell you what. You gonna keep picking on me? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna tell everybody who I grew up listening to. Oh, here it oh, comes. Oh, oh, go get him, Dana. Go get him. Go get him. Me too, right here. 
I'm not offended at all. She grew up listening to us. I'm honored. You're old. We all <laughs> and we in turn told her to listen to Bob. <laughs> and write down what he does and call yeah. him back. 